Hi everybody, welcome to podcast number three. Thank you so much for joining me on my knitting and crochet podcast. So today I have a finished item to show you here. And I no, I tell a lie, I don't have one, I have three, three finished projects, sorry, um, to show you. And I have one, two, three work in progress, three and a half works in progress. And then I have some other ideas or projects that I would like to start and cast on, but I'll talk about those later. So if we start with finished projects, um, I'll start with these, which I am so pleased to be able to share these with you today. These are the Stylecraft Vanilla Sock. So this was a toe-up sock with the afterthought heel and a two by two rib. And the first sock I done was, it just went so well and it was so lovely to make, really enjoyed it. The second sock, however, caused me so many problems. If you remember in the last podcast, I was doing the afterthought heel and I had four stitches too many. And although it was only millimeters out when you laid them together, I had to frog it. I just couldn't carry on knowing that it was wrong. And so I frogged that and the person that these are for, these are not for the shop, um, the person who these are for wouldn't probably have noticed and even if they did they wouldn't have, you didn't, it wouldn't have bothered them um, but I knew, I knew it was four stitches and I just, anyway, I frogged it. So that was the first disaster with the second sock. Then when I started the second sock I just had problem after problem but I did manage to finally finish the second sock, which is here. Had I started, had that second sock been my first sock on this project, I really don't think I would have completed it. Um, everything went wrong from the cast on to frogging it, casting it on again. Um, I'm trying to think now what, I, I had to frog it about three times. And even when I was putting the afterthought heel in, even that caused me some problems which is the afterthought heel is so easy and quick to do but you name it it went wrong and then when i came to do the rib i was following a pattern um for the original sock pattern that i'd use and it's a one by one rib and i had changed it to a two by two rib because that's what i prefer and I just, it was really late at night and I just wanted to get the sock finished because it had caused me so many problems. I just, you know, when you just want it off the needles and just done with it. So I stayed up really late that night and I did the rib, just about to cast it off. I kept thinking whilst I was doing the rib, something doesn't look quite right. There's something not right. And I thought, no, no, I'm following the pattern. No, it's, I'm nearly there, it's fine. Didn't have this sock with me at the time. But then the next day when I got this sock out, the first sock, and compared to the second sock, I realised what the problem was. I had been doing a one by one rib, as the pattern had said, and I totally forgot because it was so late at night. I, I don't know why I'd forgotten that. I just preferred the two by two rib. I just wasn't concentrating. So the rib had to come back out and I had to put the two by two rib in. But I am happy to say that they eventually come off the needles and have a pair of socks. So these are my toe-up socks um, made in Stylecraft on Magic Loop. Um, they are finally ready to gift. So I am so, so happy because I need to gift them on Monday. So they are ready. So I'm so, so pleased I have these to share with you. Um, but yeah, so that's those finished and it put me off making well not put me off making socks but I'd had enough of socks knitted socks at that point so I diverted and changed to crochet socks for a little bit I have never made crochet socks I see lots of crochet sock patterns and I just don't like the look of the socks they just don't really look like socks um but I found a pattern on West Yorkshire Spinners that I liked. And it was in their Colour Lab. It's a Colour Lab crochet sock pattern. So it's their double knits, pure wool. And I do have double knit pure wool here, which is this lovely Welsh wool. So I have a couple of skeins of this. But I didn't want to use this 
on the crochet socks because of not making them before and not really liking crochet sock patterns I was a bit dubious as to whether I really wanted to use my lovely Welsh DK wool on the pattern so what I decided to do was just grab some DK yarn because that's what it's made up in so I just wanted to see the size in um, just to see how they actually make up and how they feel so this is the sock this is the crochet sock and I am actually really really pleased with how the sock looks it does look like a sock and I know that sounds strange but some of the crochet socks they just don't look right in my eye that's just my opinion I just don't think they look right so when I made this one up this was again a toe up sock with an afterthought heel and obviously no no cuff on that you just carry on the pattern so that was the first one and this is in a large so they're slightly too big for me but the fit of them the feel of them is lovely they're just slightly too wide for me so I would need to do the smaller one but this as I say this was just a trial one so I just wanted to see how they actually came out and the stretch in them is really really good and this has got I don't know if you can see if it'll show it has a slight twinkle in it so I wasn't sure if that would affect the stock stretch but it hasn't and I think they just look really pretty so that is my second finished item is a pair of crochet socks my first ever crochet socks so I don't know if you've ever made any but do let me know um, how you found them or if you've got a particular pattern you like so this was the West Yorkshire spinners color lab pattern and it's a no this isn't a free pattern I think it was three pounds on their website yeah three pounds on their website look for color lab double knits crochet socks and that is the pattern there for those so having liked these so much and was actually very impressed with the pattern I wanted to make another pair but I wanted to put a rib on the top because when they're on I got somebody to try them on whose foot size this is and they fit lovely the heel placement is perfect they feel really soft and nice even though they're not wool these are 100% acrylic they're still really nice but the leg because it hasn't got the rib on it it's just a little bit baggy and not as tight as obviously as if you'd have a rib on it so I decided to make another pair but this time I wanted to experiment making them in cotton so I had the acrylic pair and I had a ball of cotton with me so I wanted to see how they'd work up in 100% pure cotton and here is the result and I think these are absolutely beautiful um, so again I followed the pattern from toe up afterthought heel but I decided to add a rib cuff just to give it that snugness on the leg and I did these in a smaller size so these were my size so I could check them and see how they felt and how snug they were around my leg with the rib and they fit like a dream honestly they are just so nice and they are 100% cotton so, and obviously you can wash these in the washing machine no problem as you can with the acrylics so you can wash those in the washing machine too but I just think they work up so nice in the cotton and in the summer I think they'd be so beautiful little shorty cotton socks or well, even in the winter I guess but just imagine pottering around with these in the summer so cool and nice I just think they're lovely so I managed to do the second one so I have a pair so I have a pair of cotton crochet socks so that's those so I was on a little bit of a theme with socks um, so I had a break from the knitted socks and I turned to crochet socks I'm pleased I did actually I'm pleased that I finally found a pattern that I really like and that's those so I'm really happy with that 
also works in progress. I do have a work in progress and it is, are you ready? Da -da -da, sock, another sock. So I have taken a break from the crochet socks because I would like to actually purchase some of the Yorkshire Spinners um, Colour Lab DK to make them in as per the pattern. I want to see how they work up in that as I still don't yet want to open my Welsh Pure Wool to make them. Um, I'm not sure, I may, I may make them in this at some point, but at the moment I'm just holding these back because these are quite special and gorgeous. So I'm not quite sure don't know quite what I'm going to make or whether I'll get some more skeins of these to make something bigger um, but these would be perfect because they're pure wool pure wash wool in DK so they would work up really nice so I might be tempted to make a pair I'm not sure so work in progress is my sock so this is a smaller sock than the previous one but they are both style craft and it's still going to have the afterthought heel in and it's still toe up with a two by two rib this one so i've nearly finished this one this will be off the needles very soon and i can start the second one so that's working up lovely and i do have the ball band for this one it's it's style craft and it's called the colorway is hike uh, let me just find. I did have the ball band. Well, I do know. I do know it is definitely Stylecraft, and the colorway is hike. That's what those are. And I'm knitting them on 3.25 chow goos on Magic Loop. So that's those. And have my lovely little stoppers on because I don't want to lose my project. So really, really happy with those. They're coming up nice. Okay, so on to my second work in progress, which is a scarf. And I am making the scarf in James Brett Amazon Super Chunky in this lovely mustard. And it's 20% wool and 70% acrylic. So it's very, very soft and very chunky so it works up nice and quickly and I'm using 10 millimeter needles and I just hold it up so you can get an idea there we go so I'm doing this in Irish moss stitch and I really really love the pattern I think it's really pretty for a scarf so the yarn I'm using comes in 100 gram balls and I have just opened my fourth ball and I think I should finish the scarf I'm more or less using the rest of this ball. So say 400 grams of super chunky, I think will complete my scarf. I'm just, I don't want it because it's very chunky. I just want it a little bit longer. Perhaps I normally would do a scarf. Um, but how lovely is this? It's so chunky and so cosy. And it's got the 20% wool in it as well, so it's so snuggly. I could have done it shorter and made a cowl. It would make a really nice cowl as well. But anyway, I carried on and I am turning it into a really lovely long scarf. So I've still got a few rows to go on this, but not very many now. So I have that much um left and it works up very quickly so i'm going to do a few more rows and then i think i'm going to cast this off because i think it's a nice scarf to also be able to wear wrapped round just be careful because i still got it on the needles so as you can it's just lovely it's just so cozy but you can see the length where i'm up to there's the needle there I need it to come down a bit longer. I think that it just needs a bit more length on it because I think it would be the type of scarf that you'd want to wrap around and snuggle in. It's so lovely. But if you were wearing it just wrapped around, just looped around, it would actually be long enough as it is. 
mean, it's so long, I can't even get it all on camera now, but... And it's okay, it does look nice just looped round. But as I say, I think it is the perfect scarf to really snuggle up in. Yeah, I definitely think like this looks nicer. So I'm going to do a couple more rows. I'm sorry if it's to be hitting the microphone. Um, but I just wanted to show you that is my work in progress on the Irish moss stitch. I definitely think I'll make some more scars in this stitch because I think it's just so pretty and perfect for a scarf. I think I might make some gloves in it as well in this stitch pattern. It's lovely. Yeah, I really like it. So a few more rows and I shall be casting this off. Um, it is on 10 millimeter needles. So that is my work in progress, nearly to be a finished item. So really, really pleased with that one too. So I should just untangle myself and fold this up. It's very, very long. You can see. There we go. You can see we've had to join in the balls there. So I shall fold that one up for a moment. There we go. And I shall show you my third work in progress, which is my cardigan. So it's this cardigan here, the James Brett cardigan. Um, so this is the same yarn as the scarf I'm using, which is the James Brett Amazon in the super chunky. But I have kept to the pattern and done it in the purple just because I think it's a really nice colour purple. So I thought, why not? Let's just do it in the purple. I wouldn't normally wear purple, but this I quite liked, so I went with it. So I have completed the back panel. I have done that, done the shaping for the back. So that's cast off and ready. And I have the front panel, which I've only done a couple of rows on since I last showed you. Um, so I haven't made a great deal of progress because I've been doing my socks and other bits for the shop and things. But we are a couple of rows ahead on this one. So I'm pleased with that and it's working up nice. And it feels really nice again. I do like this wool and it's acrylic and wool mix. And it, but it feels really, really soft, I have to say. So I don't know if you've ever tried using this wool, um, but it is nice. It's not pure wool, but acrylic mix, but it's lovely. So I'm happy with the progress that I'm making on the cardigan. I do need to just crack on a little bit with this one, but I think it's because I'm coming up to some shaping. I think that's, I think that's where I'm up to on this now. I think I have to do it for a certain length and then start some shaping. So I have to have time where I can concentrate and I just haven't had that kind of time where I can just sit down and just really concentrate on a project. Hence why I have really enjoyed doing the socks and the, the crochet and the knitted socks because they're the type of pattern that you don't have to think too much about once you know the pattern, especially the socks. I just that they're just so nice to make on an evening when you just got a film on, a program on, and you can just sit and make without really thinking too much about what you're doing. And um, yeah, but I do need to I do need to crack on with this. I do need to find some time where I can just sit down and concentrate for an hour or two and make some good progress on my cardigan. So that's where I'm up to progress wise with that. And the other thing I have made progress on, well, kind of progress on is my knitting machine. So for those of you that watch the Vlogtobers, you would have seen that I have a um, brother knitting machine and an old one, which I'm really trying hard to learn. And I've had a few problems with different things like the weight combs that I've had to reorder. And they arrived, so I thought, right, I'll go and have a... Every Sunday, I'm going to set aside for my knitting machine. That's what I've decided. Um, because otherwise, I'm so busy with other projects. Other things take over, and the knitting machine is going to get put to the side. 
So I have decided that Sundays are going to be my knitting machine day. Well, I don't do crochet, I don't do any other sock, nothing like that. I just do my knitting machine. So last Sunday, I started, I had the weights arrive and that was my first Sunday of machine knitting. And I was really, really pleased because I managed to make this. So it's just a little sample and I was really pleased. Um, this is where I just cast on, was playing around and then I was putting the pattern card in and here we have the, the reindeer pattern. And then I managed to do a few rows of knits and cast it off and I was really pleased with my cast off edge really happy lovely and neat i was really happy with the design i got the cards going so for me i was on a roll so i decided <laughs> i could make a cushion cover so like, well, i can do this i can do it. i've got this far so all i need for a cushion cover is a little bit wider and maybe a little bit longer and i could make a 12 inch cushion cover Easy. that's fine I could do it so I set the machine back up exactly the same using the same punch card got my measurements for my cushion so I knew how many stitches I was casting on how many needles to bring forward on the machine it was merrily knitting away and when it's on the machine it's the back part that you can see so you um, the actual pattern is facing away from you so all you get to see is this but the machine was going lovely no problems no jamming I could see the work was progressing was really happy I thought I've got my 12 inch cushion the front panel done when I cast it off what on earth has happened to that repeat reindeer I have no idea the punch card is of one reindeer okay so the punch card it's easy to show you on this one the punch card is basically this here um so that should just carry on repeating 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 however many times depending on how many needles you've selected nothing you know nothing too complicated it just repeats itself so once you're set up and go in it should really carry on so I was so happy to cast this off until I turned it over and then I realised this had happened. So it starts off okay, I have the reindeer and then I have no idea what happens here going forward. No idea. So I don't know if, it, if the tension changed somewhere. Um, I really have no idea no idea at all so i i'm lost really so i'm back to the drawing board but it's not a complete fail because i do have a piece of what resembles fabric to show you so i'm really happy that i actually managed to cast the machine on and managed to work out how to do the punch card with the pattern managed to select the yarns okay and the first sample brilliant went on to do the bigger sample um, as I say I just don't know why that happened as yet so I have joined a beginners knitting machine group to see if anyone in there is able to help me so if anybody has any ideas as to why it would suddenly jump out like that and go so out of sync I mean the reindeer further down well, it looks more like an elephant. It has a trunk. I have no idea what's, what's happened. I don't even know how it would happen. And yet the reindeer before is okay. So I'm still trying to work that out. So I'm not too disheartened because as I say, every Sunday going forward is going to be my knitting machine day. So it just gives me that time where I can just focus 100% calmly on the knitting machine without trying to fit it in between other things and rushing. And the progress I make is the progress I make. 
and if I'm still sat here this time next year with pieces like this and still utterly confused then I shall know that the knitting machine is just not for me but I am hoping I can overcome these little problems work out what's wrong and hopefully this time next year show you a beautiful cushion in a beautiful reindeer pattern that is my goal so we shall see fingers crossed I get there I really really hope so because I do enjoy I do enjoy using the machine and I really love the designs on the punch cards I have because I showed you in the vlogtober for those that were watching it I have a lot of punch cards and I have books with punch cards in for dogs and cats and dinosaurs and all sorts of things and I have plain punch cards so I can punch my own patterns as well from the pattern books so I have everything I need to really make some beautiful things on this machine I just need to get to grips with a few little teething problems but I'm sure I will and I'm sure I will have something to show you I did even think about turning this into a little wall hanging just because it was my first piece and I might just turn that over so that over pop a piece of dowling in block it and just have it as a little Christmas wall hanging just as my very first little piece of knitting I'm not sure it's a shame about this bit at the bottom I wish I'd started the pattern sooner I wish I'd just done the knit and then gone straight into the pattern but I still think it'll be cute so anyway that's the machine knit in progress so far and as we're on the knitting machine I did I have literally just received some post which is a I haven't even opened it yet but this is a new cast on comb bar because the one that came with the machine the needles are slightly bent and I'm wondering if that has something to do with why this middle bit is off I'm wondering if the teeth on the cast on comb on this point here are bent and something's gone a bit wayward here but not here so I should try it out and let you know but that was my only other thought was that there's possibly something wrong with the cast on bar well I do know a few of the teeth are not quite straight but it is casting on okay so I'm not I'm not really sure if that is a problem because that one worked okay but maybe I just didn't hit the part of the bar where it's out I don't know because really that part there is that part isn't it so maybe there's something on the cast on comb further along here that made this part out I don't know I'm just guessing but I am going to try everything I possibly can to fix it and make some lovely lovely things on it so all positive I'm really pleased with my progress on that and it just helps me learn every problem I have to sort it out and I learn from it and that's how we learn isn't it so yeah but I really do like it so that's my knitting machine progress so that is that so as for going forward with things I do have another pattern that I would like to cast on which I haven't yet and it is it's another pair of socks and it's again by West Yorkshire Spinners and it's in is their signature four ply sparkle crochet socks and it's this one the Helga socks so that is one of my projects in the pipeline if I decide to do some more crochet socks I really want to have a go at this pattern here um, it's in their sparkle yarn which is really really pretty signature sparkle so I wouldn't mind having a go at those I also still have my Sophie scarf that I haven't yet managed to have time to do so that is in the pipeline too as well of well as well as everything for the shop of course and I hope to make some socks to put in the shop very soon because say these are gifted socks and my crochet socks are my trial socks so that is my knitting and crochet progress over the last few weeks that I have here to show you so I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast I thank you so much for joining me 
I am going to wrap it up soon because I have a very exciting weekend ahead. I am off to York to see my daughter. So she is in York University and I haven't seen her for a few weeks now, a good few weeks. So I'm super, super excited. I'm going to go and pack for the weekend. I'm going to stay, I'm going to meet her in York. We're going to go to Harrogate as well. Have a lovely weekend looking around the Christmas markets and yeah it's just gonna be lovely so i wish you all a lovely weekend too and happy knitting crocheting sewing whatever you're working on at the moment and i shall see you in the next podcast with some more makes see you soon bye